Hi, I'm Jacob, and this is the Coal Mine. This is our remote control cooler called the Colbot or Coleman Robot. Goes anywhere, anytime, any place. Oh, what's that bumper sticker say? That's perfect. Hey, what are those, Jacob, what are those knobs on there for? Those switches and stuff. Totally portable. Has a few a few accessories for it. Got four uh, Ford speakers in here. Little subwoofer. It's all powered by a car battery inside. Oh, hold on. <laughs> That's a portable party. And uh, when it starts to get in dark, just when you think it's time to go in. We have our portable light with a magnet base, magnetic base. Shine it anywhere, at any angle. Okay, hi, I'm Bruce. I'm uh, Jacob's dad. This was our uh, winter project this winter um, in Wisconsin, having one of the uh, longest winters in the record and one of the coldest winters. Um, we had a lot of time inside in a workshop to build this. Um, a Colbot, Coleman robot. Uh, these switches here are gives us manual control of the lid opener. Put it down in a manual position, open the lid. 
close the lid. Or auto for to be controlled by our Arduino circuit board. Let's take a look at our Arduino microprocessor real quick. This is our uh, electronics that run the bottle opening cooler. We have our Arduino Mega board on the bottom. On top of that, we have two Adafruit motor shields, uh, which power the motors. Actually, in this unit, we have three linear actuators. We have an uh, electromagnet, and that would be our um, four motors. Uh, we have our two servos. One is our bottle stop servo. Right here, this stops the bottle, bottom of the bottle from kicking out when the opener is opening the bottle cap. And we have, of course, our servo, which the electromagnet is attached to. Okay, right here's our lid opening actuator. That's uh, for Gelly. This is for Gelly Automation. Uh, this is a a uh, Christmas tree ornament, Coleman stove Christmas tree ornament. It makes a great cap reservoir. Uh, the electromagnet, which is our cap catcher, uh, it's put in position by the servo uh, to catch the cap when it is opened by our opening actuator, which is for Gelly. Um, and then we have our pushing actuator down here in the bottom, which pushes the bottle over to our lift tray. Uh, and our, again, our bottle stop servo. Already talked about that. And over here we have our stepper. And this is our stepper motor, 1.8 degree um, stepper. Uh, NEMA 23 uh, it, it's, it lifts up lifts up the bottle lift tray um, okay now our, like I said our Arduino has a motor uh, Adafruit motor shield boards on them motor driver shields I'm sorry and um, which we, uh, we we had to write the code for this, uh, you know, using the Arduino C++ code. Um, took us quite a while to get everything timed perfectly, but the code wasn't so bad once uh, we taught ourselves how to actually what Arduino code was because we had no knowledge when we started this project. Um, on top, if you're wondering what's on top of the Arduino code is our um, it's from Electronics One Two Three. It's a USB six M um, sound module. It holds up to 300 seconds of songs. So this is hooked up to be running off the Arduino microprocessor. So every time you push the start button for the bottle sketch to start opening a bottle, it's going to play at 60 seconds of a different song. So I can have currently I only have three different tunes loaded in: Mission Impossible theme, uh, What a Wonderful World with by Louis Armstrong, and this theme to Star Wars. Real quick, we'll go over the demonstration one more time. You can see it all in operation. We have the lid open so you can see it better. Um, if you're wondering, this button on the left here is for, uh, we hope to eventually have this cooler open and deliver cans. That's canned soda um, or your other favorite cold beverage. Uh, that's what this empty spot is for. Uh, eventually cans will be taken up that area and a similar ramp style of feed system. Okay, now this wheelchair base that carries the Colbot, the Coleman robot, is the, um, it's called the J-Bot. Notice the Menasha football logos. 
Jacob, who helped me build the Colbot, is a uh, junior this year, and he's on a Menasha varsity football squad. So, um, what this will do is during a game, when the football team scores a touchdown, we have their spirit flag mounted to the top of it. So this carries the spirit flag around on the track uh, after they score a touchdown. So it's just for home games, and uh, seems to be the students seem to like it pretty pretty much. Last year was the first year we did it, and um, it went off pretty good. Okay, let's let's take the JBot cover off and see what's underneath the hood. Okay, here we have our two deep cycle wheelchair batteries. And it's all controlled by our Dimension Engineering Sabertooth 2x25 motor driver board. Now this board gives us 25 amps per channel or per motor. And there's two motors. Because um, it is an electric wheelchair base. Um, so that means this capacity of this uh, wheelchair base of that motor driver board is approximately 300 pounds we can carry. Um, and that'd be it. Pops together easy. Switches. As you can see, one switch turns on the wheelchair. Other switch turns on the power going to the Colbot, the cooler. So we'll turn them both off for now. Put the cover back on. We're all set for operation. See how uh, see how this thing drives though without the cooler on. Let's get Some people ask how far can this go? We've had it drive out of sight, literally. So it was too far away that we felt safe driving it. So we had to stop it. So I believe it's rated at 300 meters uh, transmitter, but I'm not so sure. It's 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, which makes it really interference free. Yeah, now you know why we have that uh, wheelie, anti-wheelie wheel in the back. Okay, uh, let's go over our um, stereo, if you were, anybody was wondering. It has a power port here so we can hook up, uh, you know, any type of uh, thing that requires 12 volts. The power tent has got to be lowered though to open the lid, so we have to turn the unit off. So inside, see we got our Ford, four Ford stock speakers, our car battery, um, a subwoofer amplifier, and a power antenna, and a car stereo's in the bottom here. It's a pretty nice Pioneer, works good. And that's it, pretty simple. Another winter project though, this was a winter a couple years ago. Power it up. Antenna goes up. Great music. Get it ready for transportation.